I might put that as the first thing today. Just, I'm poor, please help. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you've seen from the title below that today we are testing Asda makeup. The first thing I want to say is that I had to have a cup of coffee today because I don't know if you can tell by my eyes, but they're like bright red because I'm so tired. And also because it's absolutely freezing outside. I actually have my slippers on right now. It looks like I'm wearing like a nice top and I'm all like put together, but actually I have my chewed up by my dog tracksuit bottoms and my slippers on. So that's the sort of day we're having today. But I thought I'd just like invite you all in to my cozy pajama filled coffee loving warmth. But yeah, I was in Asda the other day and I honestly, <laughs> I say this every single time. Why am I even doing a YouTube channel when I don't know anything about anything? I don't know whether it's a new thing. I haven't seen many reviews on it either. I know Jordan Lipscomb. Is that how you pronounce her name? I'm so sorry if I pronounced it wrong, Jordan. I know she did one, but other than that, I haven't seen anyone else do an Asda makeup. So anyway, I keep doing these videos, but I just think they're so worth it because if I can get some makeup for under five pounds, then I'd much rather have a huge collection of makeup that I can afford than one palette that's like 50 quid when I don't need it. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. You guys tell me. If this is boring, then let me know. But I just love finding the cheap ones. I know that Bolly maybe. Bolly Millie Bit. I know that Bobby Millie Brown has just come out with Boots makeup, so I'm gonna go to Boots later today and I'm gonna pick up some more of that and just put that on my credit card because YouTube isn't making me any money yet. So please subscribe. Thank you so much. Anyway, let's dive into some Asda makeup. So the first thing we're gonna test out, this is the Perfect Base Primer and this was in the Tone Perfecting one. They also do another one. My skin's not my best friend currently and I've got a bit of redness like around my nose so I thought let's try this after the primer is applied follow with a George foundation which how lucky is that that I'm sorry I'll stop so let's go on with the oh that's why I, I beat on the way out of Asda and I and you know when you haven't done anything wrong but like it makes you feel like you've done something wrong but now I know because this was on so I don't know how sick of you are of me editing in close-ups of me doing that, but... So I'm just gonna put a... It's genuinely not coming out. Okay guys, we're off to a rough start. Like, I literally am squeezing so hard and nothing. Why do I always have this issue? Okay, I'm back with some scissors. Don't try this at home. Ah, okay. So we're gonna put a peep. I'm just gonna rub it in in circular motions like it says. That feels really nice. It's funny because I was just saying that I don't believe in primer, but I really like this. Next, we're gonna do what Asda's told us to do, and we're gonna go in with Perfectly Even Foundation. So this is skin perfecting and vitamin enriched. So this makes me think that there's like stuff in here that's gonna help my skin. SPF 30 and it's matte. They also had a non-matte one, but that wasn't vitamin enriched. Let's hope that we can get into this one. Can I just say, this smells really good. It is matte. It's giving me some nice coverage. There is still, do you see this massive spot? It's covered it up, but I can still see it. I'm just gonna go in quickly with some of my other concealer. Concealer done. I'm really happy with how that foundation looks on my skin. Let's move on to setting powder. George Satin Powder. Loose Mineral Powder in Translucent. They had other setting powders as well, but I just really like a loose powder. I could film these videos so much quicker if they didn't have these stupid things on. Okay, we're open. That setting powder's really nice too. Asda is three for three right now on products, so let's go into our bronzer. We have the Matte Diva Bronzer, and this is in shade Caramel. Oh! That's also really nice. <laughs> I really want there to be something like bad so the video is like interesting in the middle like oh what happens is it good is it bad but everything so far has been really good this this beauty 
might replace my Rimmel bronzer. I don't know. We'll see by the end of today what this looks like, but... Hi, Asda. Thank you for your services to my face. Moving on to my favourite bit of every video. We have... I'm very confused now. I, I was just reading it because I was going to read it to you, obviously. It's called the Glow Highlight Baked Bronzer. Which is confusing to me because it's very clearly a highlight. Look at that. That's not a... Who, what, whose skin is that? colour for it to be a bronzer, I don't know, but in the shade Rose Quartz, sorry that was gross, I want a bit more, it is nice though, it is, it's pretty, okay no, as I add more, it is buildable so, I mean yeah it's pretty. Okay, next we're gonna move on to our brows. This is called Tamer Brow Gel in the shade Dark. <laughs> I don't really use gels very often. I usually use a pencil, but I thought, why not? This is like a little mascara wand, and we're gonna see how we go. Let's just let's just see how we go, okay? Please don't judge me. Stop judging me. Oh, God's sake. I've messed up already. I'm just really not used to my eyebrows looking like this. This also like the colour, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a, like, mud. Oh no, I've ruined it. Nobody panic, stop panicking, it's okay. Let me just give you a visual of what I've just done. Oh, I should have got the pencil. It's fine, it's absolutely fine. I'm just gonna fix it, so I'm just gonna carve it out. This isn't because Asda's product is bad, this is because I am incapable of doing anything right. The great thing about makeup is that anything can be fixed as long as you work really hard to fix it. Everybody likes a strong brow. I wish I was Cara Delevingne and today I'm living my Cara Delevingne dreams. Just stop looking at my eyebrows now. Don't look at them for the rest of the video, please. And we'll move on to eyeshadow now you probably don't know this but my favorite color is purple and this was the only palette that i saw that i really liked and this is in amethyst i'm gonna try and use as many colors as possible these two are covered up i wonder if they're cream yes they are cream i'm gonna stay away from the creams because i think it's uncomfortable to wear and i can never make it work we're gonna go in first with the deepest purple and i'm gonna put that deep purple on my crease I just cleaned all my brushes, so all my brushes look like that um, Muppets character, the little scientist, I can't remember what his name is. We're gonna take the lighter purple here and I'm gonna just bring that up and blend that out with the really dark one. That's really pretty, really soft, and they blended out really well together. I really like both colours, but I absolutely adore this purple colour. It comes out quite lilac on your eye, but it's really beautiful. Okay, really quickly, I'm just gonna cut my crease, and I'll be right back. Okay, cut my crease. I did that with the Primark Foundation and Colour Stick, because this is my new favourite thing to cut my crease with. It's the only thing I've been using at the moment. If you'd like to see a cut crease tutorial, then let me know in the comments below and I will give you another one. But if you go back to my Pride makeup tutorial, I show you exactly how to cut a crease. I hate that so much. I'm just gonna wipe that off. And we're just gonna do that again. I'm so sorry. I just, I hate that glitter. So I hate it. It's awful. Don't use the glitter. It's really bad. Don't use it. Okay, back to our cut crease again. <laughs> we're gonna go in with a packer brush and I'm gonna just, I could spray, but nah. I'm gonna take this lilac color that I really liked and to the outer and the inner. Okay, and now we have those two little windows. <laughs> We're gonna just go in there with that gorgeous silver color. Mm. 
And then I'm gonna take that same brush and I'm gonna use that same color and I'm just gonna put that on my brow bone. And then I'm just gonna go underneath my eye with that lilac color. And in the very corners of my eyes, I'm gonna use this bright white and I'm just gonna put a little dot in each corner. Like I just realized it's, it's not white at all, it's, it's lilac. So this palette, there are some good parts and there are some bad parts about this palette. It's not the worst palette I've ever used, but don't go near this glitter. <laughs> I like put my brush in and it just like fell out on the floor. But the purpley colors and that silver, stunning. So it's like everything, isn't it? There are some great things and some not great things. It's not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite I've ever used either. So let's move on to eyeliner. I got, it's called the Big Flirt Felt Eyeliner. Now I haven't used um, a felt tip for an eyeliner in a while, but it's so I'm just gonna do a nice wing, hopefully, and then we'll see how it goes and I'll come back with my thoughts. Not very pigmented, but let's give it a chance. It's not looking good, is it? Okay. It was really easy to put on, kind of. It was easy to put on in the sense that it's literally like a permanent marker and so you just like draw it. I like my eyeliners to be like pigmented. Like if it's a black eyeliner, I want it to be black. And this is like, is it black? It's also really hard to do a wing because look how thick that is. Again, not the worst, not the best. So, so far we're winning on all the face makeup and we're on the eyes. My last eye product to test, Big Flirt Volumizing Mascara. Now, oh, sorry. Now they had lots of mascaras to choose from actually, um, but I went with volumizing because that's what I want to do. And also because these two matched and I thought that was cute. I mean, it's not, the thing is, I'm being really harsh because it's not that bad at all. I just want more. Do you know what I mean? I want my lashes to like come out and say, hi guys. But I'm just gonna leave it to settle for a second. I'm just gonna drink some of my coffee that's now probably gone cold. And we're gonna go in again and we're gonna do another coat. Okay, that's better. Okay, okay, good. So it is buildable. You can build it. Oh, okay. I was a bit confused when I sat down to film this video because I could have sworn that I did buy a lipstick. I remember standing there picking one for so long and I didn't like any of them. I thought they were all horrible and none of the colors went with this. So I was like, mm. but I could have sworn that I picked one up, but obviously I didn't because I can't find it anywhere. So we will not have a lip in this video, but we do have a setting spray. So this is the vitamin enriched setting spray. I wish that the, I'm an idiot. I could just turn it around. This is the vitamin enriched setting spray. It has acai extract, aloe vera and vitamin B3. Oh my God, it smells like, it smells, oh my God, no, it doesn't. It's that VO5 gel spray, the blue one in the blue bottle. That's what that smells like. I'm just gonna pop a lip on my lip. Lip on my lip. This is the Sleek Matte Me Cream, which I really like. And then I'm just gonna put my Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss over the top. So that's all it finished. So all in all, I would give this a big thumbs up. I'm gonna wait and see. So I'm gonna leave this on all day. I'm gonna edit some videos. I'm gonna go shopping, get some food, make dinner. Probably my dog will lick my face also. But if the setting spray has done its job, then no, I'm kidding. But then I will come back with my final thoughts at the end of today. Yeah, so far so good. The face makeup, I am like 
a huge, huge fan of. I think the face makeup is absolutely gorgeous and so affordable as well. And that's what's really great about it, I think, is you just want to be able to buy things without feeling guilty that you're spending or like splurging all your money on. You know what I mean, I'm gonna stop rambling now. But anyway, I will be back later tonight with a final check-in of how the makeup lasted on my face. Okay, bye. Hi guys, so it's the end of the evening now. I look a mess, but um, had a really nice day, just been chilling, I went for a walk, I had my dinner, all those things, and the makeup has actually stayed pretty nicely, especially like the face makeup. I just really, really like the face makeup. I think it's so nice. My eyeliner, like, if you look, there are, like, bits missing now, but the line in here is not the best. Yeah, I really liked it, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, please subscribe, comment down below, all that jazz. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.